Hello people, I am back with another movie review and today I'll be talking about a movie called Shadows of the Dead and this is probably one of the best movies, if not the best movie I've ever seen especially the quality of the movie and the graphics of the movie the storyline as well and the plot and everything, it's just it, it's brilliant and again, this movie didn't need to have jump scares or blood in order for that to be a good movie, well, it did have blood and guts and like in, the, in some scenes but it didn't need to have that in order for it to be a good movie and again it's another good paranormal movie it's it's a it's basically about a group of teenagers that go into a cabin and they stumble upon something mysterious they find like a dead person in the cabin they wonder what's going on and stuff and basically there's a shadow that goes around like getting people one by one because I think what was it some that the teenagers did something or something? I don't think they did a ritual, but they obviously interfered with something and it's, it came after them because they went to that cabin. And it's basically like this big shadow creature that, uh, you know, t that gets them one by one and possess them, then kills them, and then they, they and then it moves to someone else to, like, possess and take over. So they've basically all been marked with the same bruising and whatnot. I think because they crashed it's like in, the, in the start of the movie. And yeah, it's a great, uh, the creature does something from a fucking, from an effing sci-fi movie. Good lord, I nearly, I nearly swore, but I didn't. I said fuck, but I didn't swear. So don't take that down, YouTube. <laughs> but I'm so used to actually doing that. But I've been really good at my movie review so far. So please don't think I actually swore when I did, YouTube. But yeah, um, yeah, it's a great movie. I would rate this movie a 10 out of 10. It's so brilliant. It's like the tension as well in the build-up. It's like, it makes it more exciting in the movie. And then there's a scene where they start hallucinating in like a school classroom. And yeah, which was unexpected because I didn't know what the hell was going on in that scene. And this creature is afraid of light, hence the name Shadow of the Dead, which obviously they did show that in the start of the movie where there was like old, like middle aged old guy or something like that. And then um, he used a motor to turn on the lights. Apparently the lights did go out and he did get taken over like a creature did come out of him these creatures come out of the people that have been possessed by it and at the end obviously it shows the, sh the shadow creature exploding to light because like a, it was a woman and a, a guy that survived in the end which you know I did think there's gonna be a twist at the end where they both die or something like that but you know those typical whole movie endings and it's not really a spoiler because there's no twist in it it's just a shadow p creature Possessing people, taking them over, killing them or whatever, you know, one by one. And it's a really good scene, you just know, it's it's predictable as well, which you think, oh, it makes it pop, but it isn't. It's a, it's a predictable movie and it's actually good at the same time. Because you just know, oh, the character's alone and what is going to happen there. And the Shadow Creek doesn't just pop out straight away like that. It goes to one person, it possesses that person, then the person starts to possess, and boom, it gets them like that. So wow, like, whoever made, I didn't know what to think of this movie. Like, before I even watch a movie, I don't know what to think about. You just don't know if it's going to be good or bad. But there are movies which you've heard that are good that you that you watch and you're like, oh damn, this movie is actually really good. Wow, I'm surprised I didn't watch this sooner. There's there's a whole list of movies I've got on me that I I should be watching. Uh, I've I've got comedy saved as well. Don't worry about that. There's actually some comedies that are a bit explicit for me to talk about, but. I will cut that down a little bit. And yeah, this is a must watch, like I said, I rate it 10 out of 10. It's, it's one of their best movies ever. I mean, these movie reviews I'm doing are actually quite good. Two movies, and there's two movies that are actually good, and two movies that are actually bad that actually do a movie with one. They are actually bad and good. So the movies that I say that are bad, they are actually bad, depending on what you think of it. You, you might like movies like that anyway, it might be your soul. But I don't know. So yes, I mean, I don't know what else to say about this movie. I mean, it's a good movie. And I do have other movies say that. There is more I, I need to talk about. There's more. There's movies such as Followed, Paranormal Asylum, which mm, probably best not to go into that one. It's not that good. Um, I'm trying, I've got to look for more bad movies to watch. I mean, the reason why I watch some of these bad movies, I don't just quit them out. That's because I need to do it for you. Not just YouTube, but because I'm curious. Like, there may be a bad movie I'm watching, people might be saying, why are you watching movies like that then? 
because I'm curious. I want to know what happens. I can't just create a movie halfway through and be like, you know what, it's rubbish. I don't think like that. I think more like, oh, you got you might as well watch it the whole way through. It's like a series. You gotta watch a series the whole way through in order to know what else goes on. It's, it's, it piques my curiosity. I'm 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 like a big movie buff. I'm more of a whole movie buff than itself. If you have any good home movie recommend recommendations for me to watch, put them in the comments below. You might even name a movie that I've already seen. And yeah, I will put down the directors and producers' names only, so the actors, because that'd be too much to put in. Because the directors and producers, they're the main ones that made the movie to begin with. Even writers as well, they're the main ones that made the movie in the first place. You know, without them, how do movies be made? Anyways, I do hope you enjoyed this video. Please like if you want. Comment below. Share with everybody you know. Well, what else? And subscribe. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, hit the bell notifications. And I shall see you guys in the next video.